When you install Linux on your USB stick, you will notice that uh, you can boot from any computer you want, but every time you uh, reboot, all your uh, things are gone. Like if you download some pictures, if you download something, if you have some Wi-Fi passwords, everything will be gone. So basically the live USB stick you have is always, um, it's not saving anything. If you want to save something and if you want to keep the changes you made in Ubuntu, there is something called persistent partitioning or persistent mode. Uh, you only need the tool Rufus. Uh, download Rufus Portable from this homepage. And you also need um, an ISO file from your Linux. Let's say I will take Ubuntu 20.04 here. You open Rufus, you select your USB stick. You need at least 32 gigabytes. That's what uh, Ubuntu recommends. Then you select your ISO file. I already downloaded that. It's 2.7 gigabytes. Then there is some option here. You can choose the persistent partition size. Let's say 10 gigabytes. So you will be able to save up to 10 gigabytes. And uh, it, those things will not be deleted when you reboot or, or you go to another computer or whatever you do. So basically you have a live USB CD, uh, USB Ubuntu with persistent mode 10 gigabytes. So you can put data up to 10 gigabytes. We will leave everything how it is. That doesn't matter. Uh, everything else can be standard. You don't need to change anything and you basically hit start. And it says, uh, warning, I'm deleting everything. Yes, delete it. It says, master, I'm really deleting and uh, there are multiple, whatever. Just click OK. OK, this will take a while, maybe five to 10 minutes, and then you can boot from this USB stick. And when you are booting, it will ask you, do you want the live USB mode or do you want the persistent mode? So you just uh, scroll down with your arrow keys and then you click the persistent mode and that's it. And if you don't know how to enter the boot mode, uh, for Lenovo's usually you have to push F12 while booting and uh, for other devices like Dell, I think Dell should be F1 or F2, sorry, F2. And uh, every every manufacturer has a different key. So just search on Google your laptop manufacturer and boot shortcut. And if it doesn't work like that, like let's say you push F12 and you cannot boot inside the USB, then it means you have to change something in your BIOS. It has nothing to do, usually it has nothing to do with the USB stick or or anything else. Uh, it, it's because of your BIOS. So you have to change uh, the BIOS settings. Maybe you have to in disable secure boot or uh, mainly it, it works when you just disable secure boot. And that's it. Thanks for watching.